Hey, good morning. I'm Cricket. This is Cricket's Coffee. So let's get started. I got a date for you. All right. October 27, 1977. Yeah, okay. I can see you guys are going, huh? What? I got two words for you Star Wars. That's the date. At least we're here in Australia. The original Star Wars came out. Um, I got it uh, in Memorial Day weekend that weekend. So I was, hang on, I got to do some math here. We'll do some math here real quick. And I uh, will tell you, I was 14 when that came out. So this is, and the last movie just came out the end of last year. So that's a big chunk of my life. That's probably a big chunk of your lives, you know, too, that this, that this, grouping this piece of culture has been in our lives you know and the reason why I wanted to talk to you guys about it today was uh Phil and I were on YouTube one night and I found this really great behind the scenes of story with the rise of Skywalker and it had some really cool facts in it did you know that Meister John Williams is actually in the movie um, it, I was just completely caught off guard, but then once I saw how he was dressed, I realized, oh, yeah, of course. I won't give away where it was, because to be honest, I can't remember. Um, but also, here's an FYI, um, the scene that he's in, the set is dressed with, um, honoring his 51 Oscar nominations for all the movies he's written, like Peter Pan, Home Alone, Jaws. Um, I'll link, I'll, I'll link the video, um, that was on YouTube to this. I'm going to drop this over on my YouTube channel. So that's where the link will be. Also, did you know, it took me a couple of minutes to figure out that one of the best friends from the Bridget Jones trilogy is in the movie doing the voice of the little guy who helps, uh, see through. Uh, see, R2-D2. Sorry, I had to think. That's the tall guy. So, Anthony Daniels part. So, that was pretty interesting. I was like, oh, wait a minute. She looks familiar. And thank you, IMDB, for helping me sort that out. So, I got to... Uh, it... I loved all the movies, but, but I loved the one where they went to Endor and the Ewoks. That is, like, my all-time favorite. Um... And did you know, here's another, probably a lot of you did. Did you know that Carrie Fisher's daughter, Billy, was in the last, was in The Rise of Skywalker? And she, the way she is dressed is to honor her mom. So with the, with the braid, she's dressed as how she was um, on Indoor. So I thought that was, that was another one that was pretty cool. Pretty, some pretty neat tidbits there. I worked at... Um, a movie house, I call it, and uh, where I lived in Ohio at the time, and that was a re-release of Star Wars, and I got called in to work early. We didn't know how big it was going to be. Uh, when I got there, the line for tickets, this is no joke, was around the building into the parking lot. That's how huge it was, and um, that's when my daughters got introduced to it and got hooked on it, so... That was um that was pretty cool. And even watching the um just watch I love the behind the scenes, Phil will tell you every time I um we get a new movie or something, I have to go straight to behind the scenes. But I've always loved that stuff. That stuff was so cool. Um um I hadn't the Discovery Channel years ago did a behind did a behind the scenes of the movies, how things were done. And I made sure the girls got to see it so they could understand certain things. And they did Nightmare on Elm Street one time, and I watched it. I'd never been able to watch the movie series, the franchise. So I watched that about the behind the scenes and how things were done and everything. And after that, I could watch it only because I knew how it was done. And I know that might seem weird, but it's... You know, but like I said, I love that stuff. Always eated it up, and that that's my, you know, that's my thing. So, but getting back to Star Wars, that's, it's, 
you know, when when you hear that final line and she says, I'm Ray Skywalker and just I I just sobbed the first time because it was just you know that was a big that was my life. That was a part of my life that you know doesn't exist anymore, so to speak. It's called there's always reruns in Disney Plus and things like that. But it was just it was the end of something that you can all you could pretty well count on. It was always there. It was always, you know, you could go back and you could pick out which one you wanted to watch or you could watch them in order, you know. And, but you had to start, at, you know, you had to start at the beginning and you could see how three connected to four and and to go on from there. I guess the hardest one for me was when Carrie Fisher passed away. And that was just a complete shock. And Debbie Reynolds hadn't been gone too long, so I think that, you know, might have been part of it. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, you know, wondering how they were going to show her in the last, you know, the final footage. But from my understanding, they had enough what they call stock footage. So they were actually able to piece together uh, her part. And they had enough film before she passed that so they were able to do that. So that's just that's my little Star Wars thing. I'm I I'll find you a link and it was a really interesting um it's about two hours, but it was interesting to see a lot of behind the scenes and hear from the actors and see how things were done. So if you like all that stuff, that that will be there. Um uh Money in the Bank. I'm going to change tunes here a little bit. Money in the Bank was yesterday. Uh, that was interesting, to say the least. The um, When everybody at corporate and they just turned them loose. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to be a spoiler. You guys will find out. But I'm kind of not surprised, but kind of surprised. I, the men's ended completely I I just didn't even I sat there going what and the women you could kind of see how it was going that that's the way it was going to end so it's got me wondering a couple of things I'm sorry guys I got an itchy nose this morning um so I'm getting ready to do uh raw here in a little bit so that'll be uh over on the website later uh, saw the counselor yesterday. He was really happy with how things are going. Gave me some suggestions. So we'll talk about those at some point. Um, other than that, that's about it. I've got to get some work done before uh, a raw starts. So thanks, guys, for stopping in. Thanks. I'm glad you guys are enjoying these. Please, any comments, leave them down below. Any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, just let, let, let me know when you saw Star Wars, what your favorite episode was, and maybe we'll have a chat about that some more. So, once again, I'm Cricket. This is Cricket's Coffee. I'm going to go drink it. Have a good day.